What's up guys, today I'm going to be looking at Android Jelly Beans stock browser and comparing it to Google Chrome. Now we know Google Chrome on the Nexus 7 is actually the stock browser and you know most likely it's going to be the stock browser for Android uh, in the future on all devices. So I'm just going to start with some benchmarks. If we look at the stock browser, this is Sunspider, Sun Spider, sorry, I've already run them just to show you. This scores 1446. Comparison to Chrome, Chrome scores 1834. Now, benchmarks aren't everything, but it is slower. We know it from those two tests, it is slower in JavaScript performance. Now, if we go back and look at Browser Mark, which is just a general test of the browser, the stock Jelly Bean browser scores 130,495. 495 so a good score there um, let's have a look how Chrome does 112,457 so again slower Chrome on my Transformer Prime running Jelly Bean is slower I did run both of these tests in the normal mode so they probably could score a little bit higher but they were both running normal mode so we have a slower Sun Spider and a slower browser mark. So that's just the first thing. It is slower in benchmarks. Now let's try some other websites. We'll just close these out. And we'll load Engadget because Engadget's quite a good one, right? And we'll try, we'll start with the stock browser. We'll start with the stock browser and looking at a few websites. We'll try Engadget first. Engadget's a good tech website if you don't know about it. It's good. Load, hit go, see how quickly it gets there. You can see the blue bar here loading. Now it is, even though it's still loading, it is usable. Um, which is nice. So, you know, smooth performance here. You can just do that. There's no checkerboarding, no white marks. It, the whole page, even though still loading, is in fact there. Just this bar isn't, which I'm sure is loading. But, and now it's finished. And you can see the pinch to zoom, really responsive. Okay, now I'm just going to load the same website on Chrome. Close out this tab here. There are some good things I like about Chrome though, which I will talk about in a second. Let's have a look. So really quick on the loading there, probably had some of it in cache. Um, but let's have a look how it performs. So look at that already, a massive white mark where it needs to load. You know, this is basically a new version of checkerboarding up and down, not as smooth. And it is, it has finished loading. So you can see the benchmarks reflect it's reflect <laughs> reflect the benchmark reflects its performance it's not as good as the stock jelly bean browser i mean look at that it just takes time to load through it's not quite as smooth you can't flick it like you could with the other one um let's try pinch to zoom this seems okay it just feels a bit more rigid not maybe as fluid um but not bad pinch to zoom there most Disappointing thing is you can't zoom it and you can see these big white marks when it needs to load the rest of the page If we go back to the stock browser now, I'm just going to try a different website and We will have a crash apparently right, I'm just gonna Try What is another good website? GSM arena pretty good GSM arena Click that Wait for it to load. Pretty quick loading times. It, the information comes up very quickly on Stock Browser, but it doesn't finish loading. It takes a while to fully complete. But it is usable. You can see how fast that is there. No problems. Pages loaded. No white checkerboarding. Pinch to zoom. Very, very responsive. 
you know, no problems with that. Uh, let's try that website on Chrome. What was it? GSM Arena, All right? And we are loading. Do we have a? Okay, it is loading. This website seems to handle it a lot better than it did at GSM Arena. Bit weird down the pinch to zoom, you can see. Um, but no, otherwise this site seems to load pretty well. Pretty smooth in general. Not bad, we'll try one more test here. I'm trying to think of a, of a heavy website. Um, Let's go with Let's go with the Telegraph and we'll hit the desktop site. Eventually. There we go. Still loading. Get rid of this. And you can see how quick that is there. Zoom down, zoom down, no white checkerboarding. The whole page is there. Pinch to zoom, yeah, all there. We'll try that on here. Telegraph. And we've gone to the mobile site, we'll hit the desktop. Now Chrome has some nice features, even though it's slower and not as smooth. Hopefully that's going to be fixed soon. Um, the tabs, its interface is nicer than stock. Um, you can see there, it's still loading but white. You can see it, it's load, it has to load the page, whereas the other one it's all just there. So even though the stock browser is based on a Chrome browser, they, it does better really. Even, okay, now it's pretty much loaded, it's, it's all there. Um, pinch the zoom is okay. Pretty good, pretty smooth. Everything just doesn't feel as smooth. It may feel a little bit quicker on Chrome, but it's not quite as smooth. If we go into the settings, let's see what we get. It links into your Google account, that's nice, and it syncs tabs from your um, home computer if you use Chrome and stuff like that. It also brings over the passwords, the forms, even the searches come over, so the searches will appear here. Um, say a website I've gone a lot, something YouTube, all that good stuff comes up. Um, that's really nice from Chrome, but it's got some nice little bits here. Also, that was the uh, syncing of the tabs you saw there quickly. But yeah. So you can see on my Nexus S and on my PC, both using Chrome, the, the ones I was last on. Um, it works well, that works well, and it's really good to have that in Chrome. But in general browser performance, I have to give it to the Jellybean stock browser. It's faster, it's smoother, and it's just a more enjoyable experience. You saw the loading on the Chrome with the white checkerboarding effect. Don't get that on Jellybean stock browser. So there you go. I'll see you guys later.